I've been thinking about the idea of teacher professionality for many years, but it began with my own experience as a teacher, meeting people who I admired, were inspired by, but also working alongside people who simply I was appalled by, people who had um, habits and practices that I, I really thought were not at all professional. Um, so it, I was always questioning what kind of a teacher I really wanted to be. I was trying to form my own professional identity, as we all do. But only later on, of course, did I uh, read about personal construct theory, and uh, I found that helpful in making sense of my experience. When I did my Master's, I, I read Lawrence Stenhouse's great book of 1975, and he talked about Eric Hoyle's work and this idea that Hoyle put forward of the restricted versus the extended professional. For Hoyle, um, the, the restricted professional was just focused on their own classroom, their own teaching and so on. They may well have been a good teacher. But what they didn't do was what the extended professional did, was to reach out for ideas, to be going down to the teacher centre, which hardly exists now, uh, going on courses and conferences and so on, and seeing their work as being part of some kind of wider uh, social uh, reconstruction. Stenhouse was, was unhappy with, with Hoyle's distinction. He thought it was okay, but uh, what was missing for him was that he didn't really talk about autonomy as being an essential element of of extended professionality um, and, and he also thought that the teacher should be encouraged to be a researcher, in other words to research their own practice. That's, that's what Stenhouse was really interested in. When I joined uh, the university in, in, in 1986 I, I, I was still carrying this idea that um, the, the teacher inquiry was the most important thing we could promote and encourage and so uh, I did start my first um, school-based uh, equivalent of, of TLDW, if you like, a kind of school-based award-bearing program that helped teachers to solve their own problems. Um, and of course, we, we, we started with the idea of teacher inquiry, but the problem we discovered is that if teachers just limit uh, their investigations to their own practice, they may well develop some new ways of teaching, but these things didn't uh, last. They didn't get embedded in the system and the teacher might move on uh, or, or might get busy with something else and the whole idea would just evaporate. So uh, I began to, to explore this and, and, and took on the idea of teacher-led school improvement and later on that became a teacher-led um, development work. Um, so for me what was important was, was that leadership, that's what I came to understand, that leadership exercised by teachers was the missing ingredient and neither Hoyle nor Stenhouse had really focused on that at all. It's important to just think about what, what a profession is. Um, people debate this all the time, of course, you know, but having a, a body of knowledge, being qualified, uh, having some kind of regulatory framework, uh, being autonomous in your practice, these are usually regarded as being essentials of being in a profession. Uh, and some people would say, well, does that really apply uh, to teaching in the same way that it does to medicine or, or the law? The debate about professionalism and what kind of professionalism is necessary has gone on for years. In the 90s, for example, Andy Hargreaves and Ivor Goodson uh, wrote an interesting piece about the, the new professionalism. David Hargreaves in Cambridge in 94 also talked about the new professionalism. It's interesting his comment here uh, about staff appraisal, where he took, used the word professionality, and, and he talked about um, this idea that if teachers develop their professionality interactively, um, then uh, th there's a chance that this may recon reconceptualise the whole idea of what it is to be a professional. Like Hoyle, I became suspicious of the term professionalism because it has been misused. Certainly in Thatcher's era, the idea of people talking about their professionalism was seen to be just trying to talk up their own vested interest. Uh, uh, Thatcher went along with um, uh, George Bernard Shaw's idea that uh, talking about professionalism is, is a conspiracy against the laity, is what Shaw said. So also in America, of course, the professionalization discourse is something done to people. The idea was that people are just not sufficiently qualified, they're not good enough, and they have to be brought up to standard. And this idea of standardization, I think, is quite problematic. It can, it can result in some very restricted kind of practice without teachers really feeling that they can develop their own practice. So this idea of adherence to rules strikes me as, as being the sort of thing that goes on in McDonald's and, and not suitable uh, for a profession. So for me professionality is a more useful term because I think it takes, takes away that political uh, dimension. Uh, and for me it's about how each of us constructs our professional identity. Not a standard, but how each of us does that. And how we enact 
that ideal uh, in, in our practice. They, we explored this through the International Teacher Leadership Project. The, the list of aims uh, you'll see on the, the, the screen here, uh, I, I've highlighted the second one, to explore how the development of teachers' professional identity and their modes of professionality can contribute to educational reform in a variety of cultural and national contexts. That was important for us to think about what it is to be a teacher and how you enact that. Many of us are familiar with this diagram, which we've used uh, many times uh, since uh, I first put it forward in 2013. Um, it, it, the idea that you, know, you might consider where you are on this continuum. Uh, what is it that, that, that you're focused on? Uh, what orientates you? What, what drives your, your decision making? And so on and so on. The key thing there, of course, is the bottom one, which is about uh, leadership. What HeartsCam really stands for is that we cultivate extended professionality um, because we provide support to enable any teacher, actually anybody practicing in, in education, whether they're a qualified teacher or not, to become agents of change rather than victims of it.